morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending with where you are watching us from. This is Benjamin Zulu Show, the best show in the whole world. This is where we tackle real issues that are attacking real people in the real world. And you know what? Here we speak it the way it is. I am proud to be hosting this man. Oh, and we are going to have a wonderful, wonderful time. For those, maybe they are seeing me for the first time, I'm an author and mentor. I do mentor people in relationships. You're there? I have authored a nice book. It's called Couples Will. Couples Will. It's a book that is talking about relationships. If you're out there, you're married, you need this book because it is a manual that can help you to work on your marriage. If you're there, you're not married, but... Anytime soon you are planning to get married, you also need this book because there are some things you need to understand before you say, yes, I do. So before you say, I am committing myself to this man, I am committing myself to this young lady, you need to have this book. And this book is going for a thousand Kenya shillings only. If you want to get the book, you can get in touch with me. You can follow me on Facebook, Willie Kinyash underscore couples will or Willy Kinyash and you'll be able to find me so you can follow me and if you want the book you can DM me and I will plan how you can get the copy of your book so karibuni sana to this show and this day we have an amazing topic there's something you want to discuss no, before, and we go, before you go on let me say something about this book uh -huh. you know um, as I told you off air that we were, we, when we were looking for somebody to step in while our host is oh. away, it, w w w guys have been saying saying that when I talk to men, mm -hmm. they notice I have more free, mm -hmm. and they say that I talk to ladies are more careful. Yes, and we are looking for a guy who can say things about love and relationships, mm -hmm. because today mm -hmm. many women are reading books about relationships, mm -hmm. about men, mm -hmm. about marriage, but mm -hmm. they are written by women. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I noticed that the large percentage of who is telling them mm -hmm. is other women. Yes. And even as men, mm -hmm. do we have men who can tell us a journey of love? Mm -hmm. Because men today are talking toxicity. Mm -hmm. Talking about polygamy and subduing women and fat shaming. I saw one guy publicly fat shaming women. Mm -hmm. Taking a photo of a fat woman and say, go and unfat fat. Before you say, I don't like women. Oh, da -da -da -da. Yes. And he has thousands. They admit, uh, Hundreds of thousands of followers, and he's directly fat shaming women. It broke my heart. I said, "You have, you have a mother. Mm -hmm. Our mothers don't care so much about their body weight, do they? No, they're just trying to survive and bring yeah. us up. Mm. You could have your wife or daughter who has natural struggles with what body weight. Yes. Why do we have the voices and influencers who have?" hundreds of thousands of followers mm -hmm. and a man is blatantly calling women vulgarity demeaning names and sh body shaming them yet he has a mother mm -hmm. he hopes to have a ma a wife who becomes mother to daughter he hopes to have a daughter mm -hmm. do you gain name by brandishing by fight shall we become men by fighting women it is wrong and so, you need to condemn it. Thank you for writing this book. Mm -hmm. I brought that up to say thank you, man, for speaking, right? Yes. And for I you told me this book is about us writing our legacy while we are alive. Yes. We don't want our love story to be shared when we are <laughs> gone, when you're not there. It's called couples will and to say and, and, and actually yes. the, the first chapter talks about the purpose of marriage. Mm. And when you're talking about purpose of marriage, there is the larger part of purpose of marriage but again there's that purpose of your marriage the two of you coming together and many couples they have no idea why god brought them together some of them think that god brought us together so that we can have kids we can have properties we can have big cars but there is more than that and the reason why we are having so many divorces it's because many people don't understand their purpose in that marriage why did god bring this man to your life why, why Zulu and not uh, You're right. not Kinyash? You're right. You see, why Kinyash yeah. to my wife Jane and not uh, exactly. Justus? You're right. You see, there is a reason because before I got married to my wife Jane, there were other ladies, but there must be a reason why God made sure that it is me and Jane 
that we are doing this life together. And so when we're able to define the purpose of our marriage, the two of us will be able to go far. And some of these things we are hearing in marriages and people saying that marriage does not work, we will not hear them any longer. And you know, I, I like the way you put it because we attribute why we came together for other people. Mm -hmm. It's for the children, it's for the world, mm -hmm. it's, for the ex ex it's for everything else there, mm -hmm. yes, not us. Not us. We have made God look like a very stern supervisor mm -hmm. who is waiting for you to go wrong. Yes. And whip you. Yes. He's a loving father. Mm -hmm. And one place he wanted to show love. Mm -hmm. In fact, he, he takes the marriage so seriously that even the destiny of the church is pictured. Yes. <laughs> in terms of marriage. Yes. That is hoping the rapture mm -hmm. for honeymoon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the bride. Coming yes. for, your groom coming mm -hmm. for the bride. So mm -hmm. now that it's a guy talking about marriage and he is happy in his marriage, guys. There's a reason to just hear it from a man. Mm -hmm. Because I tell you the truth, TDJ said it's very sad that there are many daughters the first time they hear they're touched by a man is a man who is sleeping on top of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't <laughs> hear. <laughs> they don't hear mm -hmm. a healthy male voice mm -hmm. affirming them. Mm -hmm. So man, keep writing. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Write more, mm -hmm. talk more. Mm -hmm. And and, and the, we also need to mention that you do a show every yes. Friday. I do a show every Friday on Wema TV. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Couples Will. Couples Will. Now, on. this is where now we deal with the real issues. Hey, you're right. And I bring in different couples to come and share their journey with us. And uh, I try to make sure they, they remain to be real. <laughs> Not to come and sugarcoat. You're they right. come and tell it as it is. I love that. And, and, and I have seen different couples coming to the show some met on facebook and now they are happily married you know all kind of couples coming together to encourage other couples out there that, like that. marriage works so every friday 9 45 at wema tv couples with great things are happening there wema tv is on youtube it's on yes, facebook it's, so. it's on youtube facebook yes but you can, socials, yeah yeah but, but but also you can uh i have a page by name willy kinyash underscore Couples will. Couples, couples will is everywhere. I love that. Man. TikTok, couples will show. And so we want to talk about why there are no benefits in friends with benefits. And I want to start by asking, what is this thing we call benefits, friends with benefits? We have, in this space of relationships, we have trends. <laughs> um waves mm -hmm. and things that happen in the space mm -hmm. and, uh, so this concept of friends with benefits is not there in the dictionary mm -hmm. it's a colloquialism yes <laughs> it's a mm -hmm. manner of expression mm -hmm. to mean people who have an ongoing sexual relationship without mm -hmm. any commitment or future or marriage or intention mm -hmm. to become an item mm -hmm. a secret ongoing affair yeah <laughs> this the number one it is secret, secret. <laughs> It's ongoing, mm -hmm. it's consensual, mm -hmm. it, 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 they have sex, they have intimacy, mm -hmm. that's, that, that's one of the things they call benefits. Mm -hmm. And there could also be money. Mm -hmm. One of them could be giving the other one some sponsorship, some money, some financial help. Yes. And the understanding here is, besides the sex and the goodies, other things like money or something like that, mm -hmm. don't expect me to belong to you, yeah. to have a future with you. Mm -hmm. Uh, at least mm -hmm. how they usually put it in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And we, we want to discuss why it's a, an oxymoron. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the upcoming, upsurging um, thing that is being marketed. Mm -hmm. Like it's a valid arrangement. Mm -hmm. Now, again, God creates, the devil distorts, imitates. Mm -hmm. This is an imitation. <laughs> of what was intended for relationships. Yes. In an attempt, what, what we have always attempted, to extract what we like and remove what we don't like. Mm -hmm. Give me the benefits, but don't ask for the commitment. No, I want the sex, I want the money, I want the, I want the, the feel-good side. Yeah. But don't ask for loyalty, don't mm -hmm. ask for faithfulness. No, 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 no. Don't ask to grow, mm -hmm. to pick the right person. Don't, wait, don't ask me to wait for the right time. Don't ask me to behave. Surely, I don't want to abstain. No, 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 no. I don't want to work hard and pay my bills. I know a guy who can pay, and as long as I give him my body. No, I don't want to wait until I marry. No, I don't want to confine myself to my marriage. No, there's a girl there I can finance. No. Mm -hmm. So, this arrangement is inspired yes. by that 
<laughs> repetitive desire to separate inseparable things mm -hmm. and pick the benefits only yes. <laughs> and leave the burdens mm -hmm. <laughs> to pick the icing mm -hmm. but I don't want to do baking baking is too much work just give me the sugar <laughs> we finish this business <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. what you, what we are discussing today is an unfortunate uh, event mm -hmm. that is occasioned by a desire to separate inseparable. So, I want to give you three reasons why there is no benefit really. Mm -hmm. So, there are no <laughs> benefits. So, uh, at first, we are in agreement that there are no benefits. I want to persuade you <laughs> that there are no benefits. Uh -huh. <laughs> being let's, 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 let's go. <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's, let's hear. Uh -huh. So, you know, uh, you know, my work is to uh, bring out what looks hidden. Mm -hmm. Why they call it benefit, first of all, if we are friends, mm -hmm. we already find each other beneficial to our lives. Yeah. The word friends insinuates mm -hmm. mutual, mutual enrichment. Mm -hmm. I like the way you think. You challenge me. You stretch my life. Friends already establishes a connection of mutual interest. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's enough to say we are friends. Yes. <laughs> it means we have shared interests. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we build each other up. Mm -hmm. a, co a colleague was talking and she was saying, I have a friend from this. I said, you're using friends so loosely. Can you also add, expand, uh, say I have a colleague, an mm -hmm. acquaintance, a former classmate, uh -huh. former schoolmate. Mm -hmm. So when, when you say friends and you are strict to the term, mm -hmm. you mean there's an existing connection if mm -hmm. you're no longer friends you can say i used to have a friend a former friend yes <laughs> so mm -hmm. it means when you're friends when you say we are friends it really means we are currently connected in a manner that benefits both of us mm -hmm. are we together yes so I, I, I'm, I'm expounding this because deception is usually slightly hidden i gave uh, mikali an example of id in the places where they explore the people mm -hmm. terrorists set traps on the road mm -hmm. they don't set an obviously visible obstacle they hide the obstacle underneath, mm -hmm. but they place a very small trigger on the surface that mm -hmm. when you step on it, it explodes. Mm -hmm. That's how deception of life is. Mm -hmm. They use language that looks positive. Friends with benefits. benefits. That sounds positive. Uh -huh. <laughs> Doesn't sound threatening. Yeah. <laughs> After all, just uh, yeah. we, are, we are benefiting from each other. <laughs> so, in actuality, mm -hmm. the term friends is enough if it was a genuine thing. Mm. There will be no other benefits because friends means we find each other beneficial. It's voluntary. We build each other up. We talk. We encourage. We are there for each other. In a sense, we build each other up. Sometimes you're colleagues, but you're not friends. Mm -hmm. Some yeah. of the colleagues you are close physically, you are, mm -hmm. but you know very well they're not friends. Sometimes mm -hmm. your comrades protesting against a common enemy. Yeah. Bad governance. So mm -hmm. the citizens are comrades. Mm -hmm. Bad administration. So the students are, are comrades. Yes. So comrades are connected by common enemy, common yes. challenge. Yes. You and the nurse who's treating you are comrades against the disease. Yeah. <laughs> and that does not make us to become exactly. friends. Exactly. So once you exterminate the disease, there's nothing yeah, between yes. you anymore. Uh -huh. If there was something that was to develop and the association allowed another thing to develop, it would gain a life of its own but it will no longer depend on what we used to fight together mm. remember that yeah i want you to diversify the language you used to describe your human connections mm -hmm. so that you don't use friendship loosely mm. <laughs> yeah. be careful some people are couples but they're not friends <laughs> okay <laughs> some people are lovers but they're not friends they're not friends <laughs> So, the term friend, he said one time that I no longer call you servants, I've called you friends. Mm -hmm. There's a level of, uh, uh, when we are friends, there's something, we are not senior, master, servant. Mm -hmm. Th that, that power differential is not there anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can actually be easy mm -hmm. with each other. Yeah. So, the term friends means somebody you voluntarily in touch during that period of your life because friendships who don't sign contracts they evolve organically and die organically yeah. <laughs> according to the paths of yes, life yes yeah you can only check the current temperature and the degree of connection so those people call to complain why you don't call them mm -hmm. <laughs> we simply understand life is organic yes if i don't call you because we have nothing to talk about mm -hmm. or i'm not comfortable with this, this, this. i mean don't complain just acknowledge the status we no longer talk yeah. you may want to find out maybe you're asking how come mm -hmm. uh, could they have something happened maybe you are hurt me or something happened mm -hmm. or, so that uh, somebody somebody is saying one sign of true friendship is i can say let me call back and i don't call back and you don't get angry because you understand i got carried away by things yeah. and when we <laughs> catch up next time there's yeah. no complaining yes so guys who complain they're usually trying to guilt trip you to prepare you for favor uh -huh. they are calling to ask for money but they want to put you on the receiving end to put you in a manner you need to apologize by giving me what i need uh -huh. How come you've not talked to me and you have forgot me nowadays you are doing well so you forgot hey, us? Okay, help me, help me with 2,000. So <laughs> that you feel like, no, you need to. 
<laughs> so, it's actually a, 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 a gimmick to manipulate you to the receiving end. Mm -hmm. The phone works both ways. Unless you'll be looking for me, you'll be calling and I did not return. Mm -hmm. You should not complain now that you've called and you've caught me. Thank God now we are talking. Yes. Appreciate that we are talking now. Mm -hmm. Are you doing well? Me too. I'm doing well. Man. So true friendship. Someone was saying that you know that you guys have a deep connection. Mm -hmm. When even the passage of time doesn't make you feel estranged. Mm -hmm. When you catch up next time, you forget about time. You forget. You just catch up. You catch up. And after that, you go to life. Mm -hmm. I'm happy you're busy with life. Yes. I don't want you to sit in my house idle, mm -hmm. having nothing to do, mm -hmm. so that you are there for me. No, I want you to be there for yourself first. Yes. <laughs> I want you to have a life. Yes. So, what we, are, what, what, what we call friends without the word benefit, the friend itself means we are beneficial to each other. That should be enough. That is enough. Yes. So, whenever, you hear, this... whenever you hear additional expressions, additional words, additional become suspicious. But maybe <laughs> some people will argue this way. Yes. I have their, their benefits because maybe this guy is the one who is paying my rent. So I'm coming to that now. Mm -hmm. To tell you that the word benefit is actually a hidden term for sweetened poison. Repeat that again. <laughs> <laughs> what they're calling benefits, <laughs> it's, a, it's, 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 it's a concealed language, sugar-coated, mm -hmm. to tell you there are dangers here, but we sell them in a presented package they don't call when they sell when they sell bang or drugs they don't call it bang they call mm -hmm. it a stone mm -hmm. or a raw yes. something you know <laughs> you know and the way it is packaged if, have you seen how they advertise beer come mm -hmm. drink at the table of men yeah very attractive language yes. even the names of clubs mm -hmm. club beasting club <laughs> staggers <laughs> whiskey river suggesting freedom and the, you know <laughs> so uh, bad things are always caught in a even the, let me tell you the truth. Whenever you see too much inviting language, it becomes suspicious. Life is never that advertising. Whenever there's advertisement, it's because there's something behind it. Run so, for your life. So what they are calling benefits here mm -hmm. is a trap to tell you to trade off. Mm -hmm. So the first reason, mm -hmm. the, the, I said I'll give you the reason why there are no benefits in Friends with Benefits. Mm -hmm. The first reason there's no benefit is because what they are calling benefit is a better trade. You trade ah. your dignity for immediate, for immediate financial gain or for immediate sexual gain. All right? I see. That's what you trade first. You compromise your purity, your standing, your conviction, your connectivity to your inner self and your mental balance. So there is no connection? No. People, people are trying to remove sex from intimacy. So they're saying we are doing it, but you don't have anything between us. Mm -hmm. Other people, there's not even money. Mm -hmm. Some women say they respect themselves too much to sell for money, but then they sell for nothing. Mm. <laughs> so it is free. And they talk of the language of dry spell. There's, <laughs> there's no such thing as dry spell when you know the language of discipline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A spell is a period of deprivation. There's no period of depriva deprivation before you get married. That is a period of preparation. So those who talk of a dry spell, they mean that's how they live. Mm -hmm. And they were just, they just got interrupted in their supply. So next time a person mentions dry spell, they're telling you they are always sexually active. And they're very dangerous to marry because they will not be able to control themselves. They're used to being indulged every time. Mm -hmm. The single period for men before you are that, hold yourself that you can learn how to wait, mm -hmm. control your feelings, mm -hmm. learn how to maneuver. In fact, we don't tell people some of our male secrets, but our sexual control is environmental most of the time. It's not just internal. Mm -hmm. It's where you are, who you talk to, what you're eating, what you're looking at, what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are with. Yeah. <laughs> we have a, a toolkit for self control, yeah. <laughs> which you don't want to advertise. Yeah. David Mest for being the wrong place, <laughs> for being yeah. the wrong, wrong guy. Exactly. Delilah Mest for being a rather wrong. I mean, uh, Samson, there's something you did not sort. Mm -hmm. What this guy was, men we know in order to win this battle, don't just say, I'm determined now, I'm determined now. But the Bible told us to run. Sometimes you run. <laughs> Sometimes you change the environment. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you avoid contact. Mm -hmm. You don't return the, the call. Mm -hmm. You don't text back. You don't send the 200. Mm -hmm. Uh, women sometimes don't always seduce by suggesting sex. They ask for help. And when a man is asked for help by a beautiful lady, he feels entitled for reciprocation. <laughs> <laughs> so he gives help, yes. <laughs> you know, and many of them have learned that trick. They never use the word sex anywhere. They can send it all the, all the way to the end. Yeah. But just uh, suggesting next to assist me. <laughs> and she knows she'll also assist me back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. We are assisting each other here. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> many times, many times what we're exchanging that time is 
you are indulging and forfeiting the path of discipline and it told you that reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Proverbs have already told you, you hate discipline, you already hate life. Because the way of instruction, controlling yourself, that's what, is, that's what life is made of. If you refuse it, you'll be destroyed soon. In fact, life itself will vomit you. Mm -hmm. Those who refuse and call it dry, call discipline, dry spell, mm -hmm. call self-control, mm -hmm. deprivation, mm -hmm. they'll be rejected from life. Remember that. Mm -hmm. You won't last long. Yes. <laughs> if you don't know how to control your sexual urges. Mm -hmm. And whenever you have to hold yourself and dissipate your energy in football and in conversations, mm -hmm. then we know we can convert sexual energy to other things. Yes. You can kick ball. Yes. You can watch ball like an exec and you feel relieved. Yes. <laughs> you can go for gym and you feel okay. Yeah. Sexual energy is not always for sex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's for life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's for life. So the second, so number one, you said, we are forfeiting the path of self-control, of discipline, of dignity. You are, you, are, you are forfeiting the path of your growth to indulge sooner and call it benefit. It's not a benefit, it's an exchange. It's an exchange. Very expensive exchange that is setting you on a path that you can't control your urges. Mm -hmm. Number two, mm -hmm. you're opening yourself, you're giving a person information and you, okay, I'm saying, you're exposing yourself to a person in a manner that you can't reverse it. You're showing your weakness to a person who will be on this earth mm -hmm. and they will always know a side of you that they can pull out and pull you down. Once people know they slept with you, mm -hmm. And you see them anywhere, you feel tensed. Yeah. True of us. True. <laughs> True. Hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> so yeah. you're exposing you're you're inviting a person to your shameful side, your weaker side. And for as long as they're walking on earth, mm. they will be armed to bring you down. The exposure you're doing, you're handing somebody a weapon to pull you down. So you start acting as a slave. You are giving them the power to destroy you. You're giving them a shackle on your leg. You mm -hmm. may ask me, but we are doing it about whatever they can do to me, I can do to them. Uh, this is the difference. Yeah. If you have a future and then they have none, mm -hmm. who has more to lose? It is the one who has the future. If you are building a career, mm -hmm. building a family, building a name, <laughs> building anything. Mm -hmm. And I told men the other day, sometimes it looks like women's consequence for sex is immediate. They can get pregnant. They can get, it looks like the, the, because they have virginity, a hymen that is there, they have more, uh, there's a proof for us, we can't stop. Let me tell you, there's a reason God left it that way. He wanted you to lead. <laughs> yes. Obey him directly. God instructed Adam directly. He did not instruct Eve directly. Adam was to teach Eve what God said. Mm -hmm. There are some things God wanted you to go and get directly from him. And he wanted trust between you and him. He kept asking Adam, where are you? He did not call Eve. Mm -hmm. God comes, they fell about them, but he's calling to the person who gave instructions. Yes. The reason for us men is not a matter of a mass or a high man of blood. It's a matter of accountability. Because God sees everything I do and I'll answer to him directly. <laughs> he Come does on. not need then to put something that will be seen directly. Mm -hmm. It is for me to answer to him directly and you can't hide. Let me let me threaten you. I'll leave that with a threat. <laughs> a threat. <laughs> hey. uh -huh. There are some things you do secretly and no, but nobody will find out. The girl won't expose you. There are no pregnancy, no steer. There are some things you do secretly in the dark and you've closed the room and done that thing and left away and, mm -hmm. <laughs> and think you've gotten away with it without knowing you have disqualified yourself permanently for what you had been sent here to do. Or you have delayed with another cycle. Human timings have cycles. God told Abraham, I'll, I'll come, I'll visit you next year according to the time of life. Mm -hmm. Sarah will have a baby. It also says that as, 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 the earth, 822 Genesis, that for as long as the earth endures seasons, you know, yeah. night and day, you know, winter and summer. Those cycles, sometimes they last four years, seven years, ten years. Mm -hmm. If you mess up, sometimes I want you to... If you ask men secretly without them having to tell anybody, mm -hmm. <laughs> they'll tell you they usually can sense when a breakthrough is coming, when a progress is coming. And when circumstances are aligning for them to get the job, get the graduation, get the next thing, get the land, get the house, get the car, when things are aligning, temptations come along. <laughs> True. <laughs> uh -huh. In fact, because of the repetition of the pattern, we can always sense when something is coming because mm -hmm. temptations arrive fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the devil is saying, oh, the devil is saying, bow to me, I will give you this, bow to me. Mm -hmm. Because for him to be introduced to the world, it was time. When the time came for me, for him to be shown to the world, he just showed up and demons are screaming. For the previous 30 years, demons were not screaming. He was arguing with the teachers and demons are just around. <laughs> he had not been released. 
mm-hmm. to the period of performance. He was in the period of preparation. Mm-hmm. You're being prepared for that years. And that time when you're being now inaugurated, thrown to performance to the world, introduced to the world, down to the country, you are sure to take off your things. That period, who comes first? The devil. Ten between you the last. Or the power. Or the money. <laughs> so, I'm saying the, the, the second problem that there's no benefit is this person whom you're having sex with. You are showing them a side of you that they can always pull out when you become a big person and they embarrass you and destroy you for good. When you are up there. Thank you. Many people have been done that way for good. One lady was big, was a big person. I think she had already her own ministry, a church she was running for government. Then a small guy came up from nowhere who from, they used to have a thing and in the scaffold full <laughs> finished. Oh no. That's what you are doing with friends with benefits. Eh? <laughs> the last one. <laughs> <laughs> when you have a calling, you can't afford to be reckless. Sorry? <laughs> when you have a calling, a you calling. can't afford oh, yes. to be reckless. When you are conscious that you have a, a change to conduct on earth, mm. <laughs> you can't afford to be reckless. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Leave proofs of instruction are the ways of life. The third reason before you bring your interjection, we conclude. Why there is no benefit in friends of benefit is that it, what what seems what seems sweet now mm-hmm. what what may seem like it's secret and hidden now mm-hmm. what may seem like is ongoing now mm-hmm. is actually an expensive waste of time that period you're with that person mm-hmm. could be a month or two months or three months or four months usually cut out from the world mm-hmm. because of the sexual exhilaration mm-hmm. you want to keep in contact keep your phone secret mm-hmm. you're you are meeting somewhere in secret that time kinyash what happens is mm-hmm. you are removed from the world. You actually with the drone. Yes. You don't move around a lot. You pick their call. You respond to their text. They confine you without knowing to contact to contact only with them. Mm-hmm. You don't check out other ladies. You don't check out other guys. You don't check out other companies. So in fact, you're not reachable apart from this thing you're doing. Anytime you're having any sexual entanglement with a person, it mm-hmm. absorbs you. But you usually don't know it. Mm-hmm. And by the time that thing ends, you realize you have lost friends, you have lost touch with friends mm-hmm. because all your energy was consumed. So mm-hmm. the, third, the third time is that period you're with that person, it consumes you in such a manner that you cannot, you cannot pro- continue with your expansion towards where you needed to go. Anybody who was in an affair, they'll tell you that period they were in that affair, they did not, they did not move forward. It was a stagnation. Mm-hmm. It was delayed. The person crowded your space, your energy, your mind, your thoughts, your communication, your money, your mm-hmm. movement. Mm-hmm. Yes. Maybe there's someone who is watching us. Yes. And as we are having this conversation, yes. deeply in them they are feeling, I have been having these friends with benefits. And they are asking, Zulu, what's the way forward for me? Very good. So we said it's not benefits, it's burdens. I want you to change the names so you can get more clear. Burdens. <laughs> it's friends with burdens. Uh-huh. <laughs> Some of the burdens are traps, are chains being tied now. Mm-hmm. You not feel them until you try to move. Mm-hmm. Are there a problem with the chains? Mm-hmm. You don't feel them until you try to move. So you're trying to move <laughs> now. You right now you're seated. You don't. Ah, we are enjoying. We have something. We have an arrangement. Okay. Until you say, now let me go on with my journey. Judah did it and left. Judah came and borrowed services mm-hmm. and left a guarantee that he will return to pay. Mm-hmm. But uh, he, he didn't know it was a trap. Samson was also there. It was a one, a, a, a one, uh, one of. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. <laughs> but he had a promise mm-hmm. in his life. So later on, he realized it was a chain that tied his destiny for 10 generations because people of illegitimate birth could not occupy mm-hmm. that position for about 10 generations. So we are saying if you're in it and you have not yet been exposed, Grace is still existing. Hallelujah. <laughs> if you have not been existing, if you have not been exposed, get out quietly. Don't even expose yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go sort out with a therapist. Go repent with your God, with your own conscience, and cut links. Mm-hmm. Secret things are hard to deal with because you keep sliding back. So the best way is to have one person whom you can confide in, who you can trust. Mm-hmm. It may not be a friend. Sometimes you can't trust friends because they'll be shocked. Yeah. Get a therapist. Yes. <laughs> His friend. <laughs> yeah. Get a counselor mm-hmm. who can hold you accountable and help you journey out. Mm-hmm. Yes. Maybe I, I, I come I realize this and I come out clean and I wash my dirty lens and I move on with my yes. journey. Only when I am at the top there, I'm at the peak. This guy I left ten years ago, <laughs> he shows up. Sometimes that will always remain a risk to mm-hmm. remind you of your moments of madness. A minute. So before we enter into this mess, yes. because it will remain a lifetime. Yes. 
Okay. <laughs> There's a saying among my people that says, if you gossip with a, a young boy, you stop crying when he dies. Mm -hmm. If you do dirty things uh -huh. with some people, uh -huh. you start, uh, you can only pray that they are removed from your life. But the funny thing I can tell you is that God is gracious. Once you return and you're obedient now, mm -hmm. many of the things, you will hold them away. Mm -hmm. And although you'll always know if this person wanted, they can destroy me. Mm -hmm. God will keep you safe mm -hmm. for as long as you start obeying. If you have to do a few things to reconcile, there's a child, uh, sometimes a child comes up, <laughs> you have to take responsibility, take mm -hmm. the other, take the other. Mm -hmm. You do what you have to do humanly, but he will guide you, he will protect you. The rest. So, so far, stop the damage. If you don't, mm -hmm. you'll be bargaining your whole life on that altar of pleasure. Wow. Thank you so much. Most welcome. It is well explained, well put. There is no benefit in the so-called friends with benefits. For someone who has goals and a destiny, it only delays, detours, and distraction. You have it. It's for free. So kindly, before you mess up your life, cheers Chini. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next. Asante.